USD prices in banks remained stable but the free market continued to increase. On the morning of October 28, the central exchange rate between VND and USD announced by the state bank remained at 24,252 VND as yesterday. Similarly, the USD price at commercial banks remained unchanged when Vietcombank maintained the USD transfer purchase price at 25,194 VND and the selling price at 25,464 VND as yesterday. ACB reduced the USD transfer purchase price by 50 VND to 25,150 VND but still kept the selling price at 25,464 VND. The free USD price continued to increase, buying at 25,710 VND and selling at 25,820 VND, up 120 VND compared to yesterday. Despite the increase, the free USD price is still lower than the peak of over 26,020 VND USD at the end of June. According to the latest report of Vietcap Securities Company, the recent sharp increase in the USD VND exchange rate is due to the strength of the world USD, the movement of gold prices and the USD accumulation of the state treasury. The USD index has jumped to its highest level in three months as the US economy recovers strongly and the possibility of former President Donald Trump being re-elected increases. In addition, the increase in gold prices, especially domestically, is also putting pressure on the exchange rate. In addition, the large demand for foreign currency from the state treasury is also the reason for the USD to increase. The world USD price decreased slightly. The USD index reached 104.25 points, down 0.1 points compared to yesterday. Overall, the greenback traded stably in the session of October 29. According to Investing, the USD price is likely to increase sharply due to the upcoming election in the US. This is the last week before the U.S. presidential election on November 5. The market is waiting for a series of important data this week with the U.S. gross domestic product announced on October 30 and, more importantly, the monthly employment report released later this week. The employment report is expected to show a modest slowdown in job growth, reflecting the impact of strikes and weather-related disruptions caused by Hurricanes Helene and Milton.